Hi, today I'm gonna review the Zero Image Zero 2000 made in Hong Kong. The Zero Image is a company which still hand makes wooden pinhole cameras and they are quite collectible. And the results taken by them are surely quite unique and emotional. It's I think a kind of a feeling of nostalgia. When I put this little wooden box on tripod and take pictures, I think it seems to make people passing by very curious. Some of them used to ask me if I was doing a kind of land serving and it is no surprise at all considering the appearance. The key specifications are like this. The angle range is 130 and it is very wide and it's way wider than the Hasselblad SWC series. And because there is no viewfinder available, you have to be used to estimating the range. And even after getting used to it, it's very hard to arrange subjects appropriately in the background. The pinhole size is 0.18mm and you have to slide a wooden piece for exposure. And the aperture is f138 and it's fixed. If you take a picture using f138 in sunny day time, uh, the shutter speed will be around 1 second. And what about a cloudy day? Uh, it's around 4, 5, 6 seconds. As a long exposure lover, the only time I use this Zero 2000 is most likely before sunrise and after sunset. I know it's very restricted, but there's a solution. Uh, there's a filter adapter compatible with 52mm filters. Actually, I don't have any, but uh, you can buy it if you want. I think 2-stop orange or 3-stop red filters would be great for daytime exposure. The exposure scale in the back is quite simple and useful, but if you have any light meter with you, uh, whether it's a Sekonic or a Gosen or an application in an iPhone, uh, then you don't need to read the scale because you just set your light meter aperture at f138 and get the shutter speed. The film format is 120 roll film and the format is 6x6, my favorite. And now I'll show you how it works. By turning the meter knob to counterclockwise, you can release the upper plate. And then you can release the back plate, you see. The empty 120 film spool in the left will be winding the exposed part of the new 120 film, which will be placed in the right. And you wind the left knob until the film counter shows the number one. Okay, it's a good to go situation and from now on you have to be very careful so that the shutter slide in the front is in the right position. That's it today and I'll show you some pictures taken by myself. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.